How the trolls take you. I have seen a crown on a cleaning basin. There it was. I stole it, ran with it, hid it. Now maggots feast on it. I am certain. Let them rule old Albion. Grandfather's wallop is like none other. All it takes is one. His fist is a glorious basher of fools. Full of great big scars and old dried blood. <laughs> oh, such a fine wallop it is! Little ones, what is this wallop you speak of? It's our grandfather, and be careful unless you want a walloping. I am certain my might could clove his wallop. Many cowards have said the same. He uses only one fist, one wallop, boom! Like a wolf, howling with its knuckles. Well... This wallop has me curious. Ha! Good. Destiny is coming to your plate. Grandfather? There's someone looking for a walloping! Hello! Yes, I have overwhelmingly powerful strength, but it is not worth talking about. If you are a drenger, we should tell stories of battle, swill a cup of mead around a hearth, and share our wisdom. You want some wisdom? Don't become a hero like I have. I'm cursed with this wallop. These children have made me curious. Your calm demeanor even more so. Oh, I beg you. There's no need for this to go where I feel you think it should. <laughs> you best depart unless you desire your face become a fist cave. Children, stop saying such things. I do not want to use it. I truly wish to see this wallop. I will break it with my humble fists. Oh, neither of us will enjoy this, I'm afraid. You're finished! Oh, so goes my day. Don't say I didn't warn you. Down you go. 
I've never been bested before. I'm shocked. Stunned. I never thought it possible. You have thwarted my wallop. You may have access to the treasure my wallop has sadly gifted me over the years. Various awards for bashing skulls. Oh, I feel liberated of my legacy. Now I can live the normal life Hmm. The children kept the collection of those he had walloped. The treasure he promised. His wallop won him an ocean of riches. I shall inform the local Waffingas that he lives among them through traces of the Nephilim, the giant warriors who fought for God in their ancient time. They have left his presence here on Earth for us to absorb his light, the light of angels that have been infused throughout the Earth. I feel his power. He calls me my beloved, and I am calmed. I respondeth with my communion, my piety, and become another of his voices. built the silo and manage our trade deals. All the barley would rot if you were still in charge. Oh, don't spew hog shit. We both know it's because you're jealous. You used that silo to hoard the profits. Don't make me laugh. Jealous of what? You and your peasant friends? I take my fair share, you take yours. Enough. The barley in that silo was watered by my blood and sweat. Yes, and you get your share of silver when I sell it. But you keep most of it. Of the thousand you made last month, I got a measly 200. I deserve the extra profit. I secured the sale and managed the tax. Endless hours of negotiating. You there, Dane. Who deserves more? The worker who makes the barley, or he who actually sells it? The silver should be shared equally. How am I to be encouraged to make all of these deals? My endless hustle, the paperwork, he couldn't sell his own eye. The barley would never even exist without me. My barley is known across Mercia and Essex. Sebi's slush. My soul is in the mug. Hmm. The situation is strained between these two brothers. <laughs> Hi, good farmer. I don't know what to do! I have such anger in me! In my home, there is only one way to settle this honorably. A home gang. You're right! Bollocks to him! I'll pummel him! Give him a taste of a laborer's fist! Fucker! Come out and fight me! You think I am stealing profits from you? You are stealing dignity from me. If I must raise my fists, I shall. Oh, I shall. I'll kill you. All they do is squabble. I remember a time when the barley brought us joy. We praised it, smelled it, rubbed it against our bellies. <laughs> I wish our parents would get along like they used to. Before, when there was no silo, and we all shared the barley. Seems silly to think who gets more or what. We have enough. They just fight like dogs. 
dogs who forgot why they're even barking in the first place. <laughs> so he will have clean that up there. We should rid them of what ails them. There is no other way. Is a flame. My barley. No I can smell it burn. Of nature. Oh God. They got with all of it. So it was only yeah. torn us apart. Children, has your family always been this quarrelsome? Yes, they have. But I hope that has changed thanks to your intervention, even if it was drastic. Thank you. It's true that we were once all so happy. Perhaps we can now start from scratch. This is for the best. Our fathers would fight forever otherwise. Our parents kept a happy way. Perhaps this will reset the balance and they won't be blinded by profit and ego. I want you to know that you can be like me. No longer dumb and angry like heathens. Hey, monk. No need to brag of your faith. Have you recently tested your faith? Considered the holy path? It is a better way, I swear to you. I am content with my gods. Not as content as I am with mine, I am sure. He allows me to avoid rage. I am never angry. Never. Good for you. Without anger in my life, I am completely changed. No longer obsessed with riches like you. They are meaningless because he loves me. Go ahead and burn my house. Destroy my belongings. I will never get angry. Yes, burn it down. Make a pyre of the past. You see? I am not angry. Make yourself at home. It does not bother me. You will soon change from your pagan ways. Go ahead. And all of this homestead, the livestock, this is all yours. They are not mine, but God's. I have converted to God, and now I share all things. Yes, you mentioned that. Go ahead. Destroy more. My faith cannot be broken. Thank you, Lord, for sending this devil to test my faith. Curious, good man. What were you before you became so devout? I was just like you. A stupid heathen, lost and violent. Speaking of which, you should try praying before it is too late. Too late? For what? The eternal buckery you possess? And now you stand. I worry that stool is covered in shit. What is this? Oh no, that's... I mean, that key. Do what you like with it. Throw it in the river. This hut reeks. As if... a battlefield. Corpses. Are these your other converts or your past crimes? You desecrate my integrity by insinuating such. But my faith cannot be desecrated. Praise be to my lord. Praise be to nothing. What crimes lie beneath your veil of Christ? What crimes have you gotten away with? You are no convert. You are a filthy opportunist. The church gave you riches. I am a strong, Christian, mild-mannered man of the cloth. My pagan past is gone. I am... A hypocrite. Without a shred of honor. You should pay for your crimes. People die unjustly in your newfound faith. I gave you a chance, heathen. I am a better, richer man for what I did. I changed course and... Fuck it! I am still the blood-hungry whore I once was! Fucking die, you putrid shit-eater! Die a thousand ways and times like the others! You would have sworn an oath to a pile of shit, you liar! Full of false pride! 
You should be judged at an all day for your crimes. Desecrated with a rage I have rarely seen. What battle spit you out? The guilty have come for spoils. Was our dignity not enough? You return again to mock our family? To make light of my father's sacrifice? <laughs> Mad Seer, you have no fight with me. Which of the traitor kings sent you? Was it Edmund? Burgred? Allah? I follow the orders of no king, nor will I bow to you. You dare intrude? You will be skinned like the others! I will tear you apart! <laughs> Nothing back. If I must take your eyes, I will! Eivor, what a pleasure to see you. Oh dear, it feels like it's been so long. Valka, my friend, you're most welcome here. Are you well? Better than well. I am present. 
And your mother? My mother has found her peace at last. She walks through a world seen only in dreams, and will forevermore. That is all any of us can hope for. Indeed. Come. How was your passage? Exhilarating. The waves and the wind were with us from the start. We flew like seabirds. And how are you? In spite of your stoic look, there is a brightness in your eyes that warms me. It may be a kind of hope. A settlement is growing. The people are happy and I am looking forward to more. And your visions? They come and go. But leave all that aside. Let me help you with your things. This way. We found a fine spot for you at the foot of the hill. Hmm. Every hour we traveled, I tried to conjure in my mind some vision of this place. And how close were you? I saw the trees, and the water, and the rolling hill. But I could not foresee so much green. It is a magnificent and calming color. A balm for sea-salted eyes. Volka! Godzebo! What brings you? Hope there isn't a curse on the settlement or some such. Ha! <laughs> the only curse on this place is their great lout of a blacksmith. It is a rare feeling to travel across the sea and still find oneself at home. This place feels powerful, alive. Do you foresee great things for us? No need for foresight. I feel it in my heart. Is that Valka I see? What took you so long to follow? Wanted to ensure the place was up to snuff. We must talk again soon, Randvi, once I'm settled. And before my arms fall off, what is this I'm carrying? My heaviest reagents, of course. Lead, whalebone, flax of gold. Put this one to honest work. That is what I like to see. All these people you have brought here. This life you have built on these stranger shores. Does it please you? It does. To know that I have built this place and kept these people safe is a gift. You speak first of yourself when I ask this question. Which says more than you intend, I think. Salve, Eivor. Ad Meliora. Good day. And who is that fellow? I have no idea. Well, the town must be bustling. You see there? Your home is just ahead. Tell me about your visions. They are as they have always been. Little has changed, save their clarity. With every return, the things I see feel less like dreams and more like memories. And does the All Father still appear before you? From time to time, yes. He speaks to me as well, but... It feels mad to say such things aloud. I understand. You can put those just there. Thank you. And here we are. Lovely. Just as you promised. As soon as I am set up here, we can return to the matter of your visions. Valka, please. You are touched, Eivor. A conduit for godly tidings. Please, let me help. I may know a way to clarify these visions. An elixir that may open the door of your mind into the realm of the gods. If you think it would help, I can finish your home myself. Only give me some time. I would be grateful. Thank you, Eivor. Of course. And welcome home. A moment. Tekla, you look like you wrestled a bear. Is something wrong? God, Eivor, I was robbed on the road between here and Lincoln. By who? Did you get a good look at them? They were Saxons, I know that much. A pack of them lifted four barrels of my ale and all the coin I had on me. The biggest one pulled me off my horse and stuck his mouth in my ear, said, Tell Guthban we expected him home soon. 
Guthben. That's Battlebone in the Saxon tongue. Are you sure? That's what he said. It's not someone here, is it? Not that I know of. I do not begrudge us taking in orphans, Eivor, but some of these Saxons, we hardly know them. You ought to ask around. A good idea. You take care of yourself. Let me see to this. Thank you, Eivor. Tarben, do you have a second? I was wondering if... I am Guthpen, Eivor. It means Battlebone. Not the name of a cheery baker, is it? Not one who bakes bread, no. So, how did you earn this name? Before I came here, I lived another life. A brutal, bloody life. I served with a gang of mercenaries. I was their weapon, roaming the wilds of England did whatever they asked of me, and all they asked was violence. When I left, I laid this sword on the grass and made a vow. I swore never to spill another drop of blood, to abandon acts of violence, to never kill again. A hard promise for a hard man. It wasn't, not for me. This life here is all I've ever wanted. I've never been more at peace. This is my doing. I brought all this upon you. It is down to me to fix it. Tarben, by threatening you, they threaten my clan. I cannot allow that. These men are foul, Eivor. You should not have to fight my battles for me. Do you not hear me, Tarben? If they threaten you, they threaten me. So let us face them together. Very well. Meet me outside when you're ready. I believe I know where they will be. If you wish to face your old friends, I'm ready when you are. Good. I'll lead the way. I want you to know, should it come to blows with my old crew, I can handle it myself. Forgiving me is all the work you need to do. There is nothing to forgive. You walked away. They pursued. By axe or by fist, I will do what must be done to protect my clan. <laughs> You're living the life you want, aren't you? Before we're spotted, tell me what I should expect here. Would they attack us on sight? I shouldn't think so. No. Nothing like that. It's not how Wilf operates. Yes, he's a clever one. And rather kind when you meet him. Makes you feel like you're a friend. Family. I met him a decade ago, and he was the first person to truly welcome me. To see some value in me. He told me I had a gift for intimidation, persuasion, violence. Just by the size and strength of me, he knew how to use me. So, what do they want from you now? They'll want me back. They'll want me to be the man they think I am. Monstrous and massive. Wilf and them were the only family I had then. But their love was conditional. Wilf only loves what he owns. So, what do you intend? I know I won't go back. I don't want more blood on my hands. But apart from that, it's hard to say. 
Who knows what they have in mind? We're stopping. That house, there. They're likely within. It won't look like much, Eivor. But don't be fooled. And don't take Wilf lightly, charming as he seems. The man is a serpent. I've met plenty of charmers who turned out to be snakes. I know, I know. Only a warning. Let's go inside. My boy, as I live and breathe, you got my message. And you brought a friend. Who might you be, Dane? His new leash? I am Eivor. And the woman you robbed was one of my clan. That will not stand. I know, I know. I'm busted up about it. But tell... Tekla, was it? Tell her that Arayal is some of the finest we've tasted. I am done with you, Wilf. But we are not done with you, boy. We gave you food, shelter, ale to drink, riches galore. We made you who you are. For all you did for him, he repaid you with blood and sweat, did he not? You're a fiery one, I like that. But the ink was dried on this deal well before your number arrived in England. If you wish to clear Tarbin's name, I'm happy to help with that. It's only a small matter of cost. Some weeks back, soldiers confiscated my personal wares, shall we say. Tried to confiscate me as well, but I gave them the slip. If you're keen, you could recover my belongings and return them to me. Do that, and your name is clear. I... I can't. I promised myself I would leave all this behind, but... If it will clear Tarbin's name, we will recover what is yours. Where are these soldiers? Camp not far to the west. A battalion of bloated, brainwashed military men. You can't miss it for the smell. Wait here, then. We will return before you sprout another pair of horns. God go with you, Eivor. You found it! I did. Let's bring this back to wealth. You handled that better than I would have. They have returned! We have your goods. Beautiful. Beautiful. Put them there. The ledger. Of course. Happy to honor it. My goodness, such a lack of trust these days. It's a dark age, no mistake. That's it, then. We're done? Aye. You are free to walk from this place and live as Tarbin the boring bread maker for the rest of your days. But you, Eivor, if you ever get tired of the settled life, we could always use a thief with your skills. Think about it. Tyrant. Are you satisfied? Yes. I cannot thank you enough, Eivor. I feared the worst when I heard my old moniker, Guthrum. Hadn't heard it in years. It wretches up fearful memories. I imagine. How did you fall in with that bunch? After my mother died, I sought family. 
Wilf offered it. He looked at me, took me in and told me who I was. Who I could be. I don't crave that belonging anymore. Among you lot, people accept me as I am. The greatest gift I ever got. Peace. Many men are calm because they have never known a storm. You weathered the storm and worked through it. It is a rare thing. That means a lot. Thank you. Tekla will be upset with me when she learns why she was robbed. She's a kind enough woman, and she has faced greater danger than a few thieves. I suppose you don't build a clan of warriors without seeing your share of danger? You caught my attention, you know. The moment I first saw you, I knew there was something special about you. You have an empathy. I see it in your eyes. Having witnessed its absence in so many, you see a problem and you solve it. For you know it is better to see it done than to let it fester. The curse of leadership, I suppose. A calling can feel like a curse, but you wear yours well. It's good to be home again. That is, if I haven't robbed myself of the pleasure of calling it home. Tyburn, in spite of all, you're welcome here. And yours nothing but the work you love. Right. Payment in fresh loaves of bread. I can manage that. But first, one scrap of your past remains. Right. The ledger. Toss it, and purge the past. With pleasure. Thank you.